Well, I've been looking for a racket that was a little bigger, so I've been playing with a 90 square inch frame. This is a 99. I've been looking for a bigger sweet spot and a little bit more power. And, uh, you know, it, as I get up here, I need to kind of get a little bit more juice for my racket. I need a little bit more maneuverability and a little bit more pop. And uh, the Donne has been a, a seamless transition for me moving from my last racket and, and uh, you know, f having played with basically the same racket for about uh, 25 years, it's, it's a big deal for me to make a switch. Right. Well, I think uh, when you have a thin bean ra racket like this, what it really helps with is, is the, the angle shots, I think being able to, to generate the, the whip and uh, the power through the strike zone with this racket, it, it's, it's pretty easy to see quickly that you're able to hit all the shots that you want to hit. You're not worried about uh, if the ball's going long on you, if it's a racket's fault. You know it's your fault. You, this racket really responds to what a player is telling it to do. When I'm going out to play, the one thing that I don't want to be thinking about is the racket. I want to be thinking about executing shots and the ball going where I'm telling it to go. This racket has quickly become an extension of my hand, uh, and I don't have to worry about anything other than executing on the court. This racket performs exactly the way I expect it to and I want it to. The game has definitely evolved with rackets, particularly in the last 20, 25 years, and, and a lot of the rackets these days have, have really lost a lot of feel, a lot of touch, because they've really gone heavy into the power zone. Uh, this racket gives you the best of both worlds because it gives me more power than the racket I've been using before, but I haven't lost any of the feel. I can still hit the drop shots that are very effective for me. Uh, I can still hit the angles. I can still hit the slices. Uh, I really feel like this, this really bridges a gap between what's out there in the marketplace and what's been missing. Well, I think this racket really allows you to do whatever you want. If you want to bash from the baseline, this racket has plenty of power to do that. But variety is what the best players tend to use. So if you have the ability to, to not only get big power, but also hit the angles and have some finesse, you want a racket that can do anything you ask it to do. When you return in, uh, when you return in the big serves, you, you need a racket that's going to be stiff enough to, to absorb their power and, and get that ball back. And particularly when you're fully stretched, the racket has to do a lot of the work. And, and this racket certainly holds, uh, it holds up during those big tests. It allows me to get back in play and, and then take over from there. I think that comfort and touch go together. I think having the racket be an extension of what you're doing as a player is important. I think uh, if you're thinking about whether the racket is over-responding or under-responding, you're, you're not concentrating on what you need to be doing on the tennis court. So you need the racket to be responsive to you and not have to think about it. A lot of kids have grown up playing with thicker beam rackets where the, the racket really does a lot of the work for them and they really don't feel the ball at all. They just kind of bash the ball and see where it goes. A racket like this allows a player to actually feel the ball on the strings. It allows a, a player to, to have enough power but also have some finesse and some control. So I think a lot of players that switch to a, a Donne, to try a Donne, will, will feel the ball in a different way than they've ever felt in their life and, and it really it will help them kind of help them respond uh, a little bit more to what the game's demands are. I see a lot of players mishitting a lot of shots these days, and, and I think uh, it, naturally when you have a thicker beam, you, you've got a lot more of, of the racket that can interface with the ball. Um, the racket really doesn't get in the way of the strings at all with this racket. The, uh, you know, a player will rarely miss hit with this one compared to a thicker beam. I think that's big. I think that's important. I think one of the unique aspects of, uh, of the Don A line is that they allow the, the amateur to customize a racket in the way that the professionals have been doing all along. So all the professionals that you see playing on tour will have their rackets weighted and balanced in a certain way to, to fit their swings. And, for example, a player who's looking for uh, a little bit more stability on volleys might have a, a head-heavy racket, a little bit lighter in the handle. And a player who likes to hit a lot of angles, a player uh, who likes to whip the ball, will like the reverse. They probably want a little bit lighter uh, in the head, a little bit heavier in the grip. Uh, when you buy a Don A racket, you have the option to do that yourself. You can slide in 
weighted slides on the sides here on the butt cap. You can pop in different butt caps that give you different weight variations. So it really allows a player to, to custom fit a racket to themselves for the very first time as an amateur. And I think that's a big, big leap uh, for an amateur player because at that point you can start to really make this racket respond the way that you need to based on the way that you play. Nobody plays the exact same way. Everyone has their own idiosyncrasies and, and style points. And you need your racket to really reflect the kind of game that you want to play and, and benefit you. Um, so I think that's a big, big plus uh, with these frames is that you have that ability to, to customize them and really maximize your game. Right, so let's say you're going to put um, a, a, a grip, a heavy grip, so you're going to have a heavy butt cap. You're going to have no slides up here, so you're going to have a very maneuverable frame. So that's going to allow you to really generate a lot of racket head speed, a lot of whip on the ball, and depending on how tight your strings are, you can generate a, a lot of spin that way because you're just getting so many more RPMs because you can get that racket head right through the strike zone faster. Um, that's going to be good for a lot of baseline players who are looking to, to generate that heavy whip, heavy top spin. And then you can reverse that if you like to serve and volley. If you play a lot of doubles and you're, you're at the net a lot, I think it's good to have a more stable um, head, a little bit more weight in the head because you just kind of hold the racket and that, that weight does a lot of the work for you. So, uh, you know, I think it's important for people to really play around with it. That's the good news is you can do it yourself with these and then you pop them in, pop them out, takes you no time at all, and you can figure out what works best for you.